Mr. President, thank you for the opportunity. Good to see you. Ben. It's good to see you again. Yeah. Uh, let's let's start with politics. Of course, uh, Mitt Romney is about to have the biggest political stage of his life at the Republican National Convention. What do you expect to hear from him, and how do you plan to counter it when you speak at at your convention just a week later? Well, I suspect that we'll hear uh, at the Republican Convention what we've been seeing and. Uh, the millions of dollars worth of ads that have been running all throughout uh, the country and uh, they basically have one message which is the economy is not where it should be and it's Obama's fault and there will be variations on that theme uh, but I think when voters step back what they're going to be looking at is who can move us forward and uh, we all understand that we just went through the worst recession and the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression uh, people understand uh, the millions of jobs that were lost before I took office, the 800,000 jobs that uh, we lost uh, the month I was sworn in, uh, and they recognize that we've started to see some progress, four and a half million new jobs created in the private sector, uh, half a million manufacturing jobs saving the auto industry, but they also understand we've got to do more. And so the question is, what's the recipe for long-term sustained economic growth? And when they ask themselves that question, uh, what they'll see is the Republicans are essentially uh, offering the same policies that uh, got us into this mess in the first place. Uh, Mitt Romney is proposing a $5 trillion tax cut that disproportionately goes to the wealthiest Americans. And he will pay for that by gutting investments in things like education, infrastructure, basic science and research, uh, voucherizing Medicare. Uh, all to provide an average of $250,000 worth of tax breaks to people making $3 million a year or more. Uh, and when you combine that with uh, uh, rolling back regulations that we put in place for uh, reigning in Wall Street, making sure we don't go through the same kind of financial crisis we uh, went through, uh, when you look at Governor Romney's proposal to roll back the Affordable Care Act, which would actually uh, mean uh, millions of young people who no longer have coverage, who now do because they can stay on their parents' plan or seniors having to pay more for the prescription drugs, uh, they're going to be pretty skeptical of that uh, uh, argument. And what we're going to be offering uh, and have been offering is uh, a path forward that says balanced def deficit reduction, uh, smart cuts in government programs that we can no longer afford, making sure that we're eliminating waste and, and fraud uh, in programs like Medicare, uh, but still making sure that we've got uh, our investments in education, our investments in science and technology, investments in clean energy research, uh, asking folks like me, uh, people who uh, are uh, in the top one or two percent, making sure that they're paying a little bit more uh, for a balanced deficit reduction plan, but also a plan to ensure that our economy grows and that we're building our middle class.